draft for our final series for tonight. It's uh, Beat Our Bakers versus Ace Heaven for the third place match. Best of three. And this is going to decide our last team that's going to qualify tonight. Yep. And uh, a surprising ban coming out straight away. Muradin is the first ban. Interesting. But to be honest, I mean, Muradin... We've seen some strong Muradin play tonight. I wouldn't say he's game-changing, but he's just a really solid pick right now. I think he's been in every comp we've seen yeah. for this entire time. And that That's may just be because he's one of the cheaper heroes, so a load of people bought him for Hero League. No, but, uh, no, I doubt <laughs> it. I don't think so either. The new buffs he's received, the extra range on his jump is significantly good, and the fact that his bug was fixed, he's still pretty decent. And Zebo is the first pick for Ace Heaven. That's interesting. That leaves That's Brightwing out for Beto Bakers. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah, Brightwing is amazing because Brightwing counters. So what do we have here? I, I see why they banned Muradin, because that's a great counter. So Brightwing, Stitch is banned. So a new Brack, but I'd leave it till last, unless they plan on picking it. You could just pick up a new Brack now for the counter, but there are other options as well. Hang on, let me bring up my shop so I can see heroes. <laughs> um, I just go for Brightwing right now. Yeah, Bright. Well, you have Take two away picks, the Brightwing. So Brightwing, Valor, Reign of Vengeance. Yeah. Arthur's, Arthur's, okay. okay. Please pick Brightwing. You've got to get those counters. You can't give them up. Oh, God, please. Don't do this to me, Bakers. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Yeah, some good decision making so far. Um, shouldn't let that ruin now, but it's it's getting late here. Um, 11 p.m. So this is still maybe that's spot, though, they're, that's clouding country. their judgment. Okay. Oh, wow. Vala's okay, Bella, at least. Terrible. You still get the Reign of Vengeance in. But that leaves Brightwing open for Ace Heaven. That's like yeah, they that's... never, they never thought they would get that pick up. I'm, they, I'm almost I certain. I would never thought they'd get that pick up. Like Brightwing Valor is such an amazing uh, double selection, but I guess they want the tank more uh, from Beta Bakers. There's Tyrael Ufa. Nope, no Brightwing. Are you kidding me? Rip oh, Brightwing. no one's gonna pick Bright. No one's gonna pick Brightwing. We're gonna go with Malfurion instead. <laughs> That's silly. Make, make it a return. Round to two. Rande. To Rande. Yeah, to Rand. All right. Well. <laughs> we'll okay, really interesting. But, I mean, now they can wait for Brightwing as their fi final pick if they want to. Yeah, unless uh, A7 plans on running a double support comp. Just for lols. Yeah, but that would be kind of weird. Yep. And this is, I mean, best of three still for that final HPL spot. It's not bad. It's still not bad. You still have the potential. What is the first map? Um, play. First map Dragonshire. will be Dragonshire, followed by Blackheart's Bay, and if we're going to a final map, Cursed Hollow. All right. We haven't seen much Cursed Hollow today. Yep, there's the Brightwing from Beat Our Bakers. And a uh, little more CC. Like, currently, they have two interrupts for Nazibo. They need some. They need as much as they can. Yeah, they could go for a noob if they want to. Zeratul. Zeratul's nice. Void Prism will interrupt, and he can also kill Nazibo in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Thrall coming out for oh, A7. Now, nice. that's interesting. So, a lot of CC is going to be used onto that Nazibo, and Thrall yes, is still gonna, is just going to be able to get right up in the face of people because there's going to be no CC on him. Yeah, because they can't really CC both uh, Nazibo and Thrall at the same time. Yeah, it's going to be good. Zagara. And Zagara, another Ooh, I like great these team CC compositions. Here. Yeah, there's another great CC here in terms of the devouring more. Good way to interrupt here. And the fact that Hunter Killer, very good against Thrall, as it is against everyone, but <laughs> still, it's still good damage. If he wants to get up in your face, just drop a Hunter Killer on him and throw some Banelings at that. Wait, is that, a, is that uh, the Master Skin? Uh, Thrall? I don't know, I can't see Or is that I a see, bot uh, skin? I see Beat Up Bakers because I joined off there. Ah, okay. It works like that because it's weird. I don't know skins yet, but it looks extremely badass. We'll check it uh, out once we're Master in game. Master skin is the one in the hood. Is it, is it, the, is it red, skin-wise? Mm, it has some red elements, but it's mostly is it a, does metal. It wear a hood? No. Uh, He's not the shaman. Hang on. He has a huge hammer and, like, Massive chains with stuff dangling from it. 
Okay, that's not... Uh, yeah, if he doesn't have a hood, it's Hellhammer for all. And it's not Master, but it's still a like, great skin. I own it. Yeah, it looks it's incredible. Good. If it's red, if it's got red elements, I don't know... Uh, oh, like it's the skin little green. Little glowing stones kind of... It's the skin green. Yeah. Okay, so that's third skin tint, Hellhammer for all. By the way, I think this was the first time that we've seen a um, team with a bot qualify for this HBO. Is true. <laughs> the, I think so. <laughs> Can they put uh, Taskbot down as their sub? Yeah, they should. <laughs> is that they definitely allowed? should. I, I think they should. If, that's, if they have official team rosters like they used to have, then uh, we definitely need to have uh, Taskbot down as their sub. All right, All right well, fellas. Let's, let's get back into the final series for tonight. We are on Dragonshire. First map in this best of three versus Beat Our Bakers and Ace Heaven. We're versus them. We're versus both teams. We are? <laughs> you said uh, versus Ace Heaven and Beat, uh, Beat Our Bakers and Ace Heaven. Oh, did I? Yes. <laughs> well, it's getting so late. We're versus them. We're versus both of them. We can take them. We were cha Who were we challenged by in that first game? <laughs> We were challenged by A-Team. Hot Sox Elite, that was it. Yep. Hot Sox Elite versus, versus me and you. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, alright. Would you like to introduce the blue team? The blue team on the left side here on Dragonshire is Beat Our Bakers and they have Breeze on Arthas. Nande playing Zeratul and Shadowmare Brightwing. Tamzi is playing Zagara and Wobby is playing Vela. And on the right hand side, in the red, we have Ace Heaven. Starzerg is on the Thrall, in the Thrall on the Pony, that looks yep. amazing. The Ufer is being played by Noodles. Sashka is on the Tyrael, and in the bot lane, it is Sheep, it is sheep on Tassadar, and the Pony is on Nazibo. He should really get that off, that would crush him, he's so skinny. Oh yeah, for sure, but it's... Uh... 4v3 right now in the bot lane. Uh, not really. We will turn back around. Normal, normal compositions again. And of course the two specialists against each other. Oh, Tomzy! Tomzy is He's caught up there! There's the storm! No, he is mm. out. And uh, for those asking in the chat if the finals will be played while Wobby escapes again, uh, no, the finals will not be played. Because they, still, because they are already qualified. That's what they are attempting to earn here. The finals serve no purpose. This consider this your honorary finals. Yep, it is. It really is. That's the third and uh, final qualifying team for tonight. It is the final game. Ergo, it is the finals. <laughs> true. True. I'm sure uh, that's how some it really fierce fighting going on this bot lane. Yeah, lot but of, both lot teams of are holding their ground. Tamsi not really doing the best creep spreading so far, but I I gotta say, I mean. Um, Ace he's Heaven, they're doing a good job stopping the creep spread. Yeah, I was about to say, he's, he's spreading quite a bit, but it's being picked off very, very efficiently by a combination of Tyrael and Tassadar. And in fact, the fact that he keeps having to drop down the creep is wasting a lot of his mana. Bomb Shrine has gone over to Ace Heaven right now. Top Shrine in the favor of Beatar Bakers. Uther has joined the fray. Maybe they can make a push happen now. They're in solid control of this bot shrine. Maybe Uther should have gone up to help out Thrall, but not happening right now. Oh, Uther's in trouble. There comes the shield. And yeah, Nande retreating back. Look at this does mean the shrine will go over to uh to uh, possibly go over to be Dark Bakers if it wasn't for they just uh that they had gone back in there. So right now, Shrine once again goes back over to Ace Heaven in the spot lane. Taz Zeratul was so confident there that he actually headed to the mid lane to grab the Dragon Knight, but it was not to be. And it's now Nazibo in this mid lane, gonna be clearing the wave and gathering the XP from that. And Nande attempted to go in, but missed his cleave. Ooh, Thrall just forced Arthas back and is gonna, re is gonna recap that Shrine, but bottom Shrine has been taken meanwhile. So That's still great. no control again. And Starzerk, he's going on top of Breeze, but Breeze is holding his ground, and now Shadowmare comes in. Starzerk is polymorphed and yeah, taken yes. out. Wow. And Not quite again, a 1v1, one but almost almost the entire way a 1v1. Yeah, another Shrine. Once again, another Shrine swap. Bot Shrine goes over to Ace Heaven for this uh, once again. Nande having to feed back because uh, Nanzibar actually bullied him a bit. Hey, Pony. Also going to be, though, he needed health and mana too. So Wubby will be hanging in this lane for a while. Just soaking it, and Tommy. 
doesn't, not going to be making any moves because he is on his own here. He's once again just staying in the lane and soaking the XP. Yeah, bot lane has been joined, Ma Shadow Mare is joining in here again, and they're going to take control of the spot shrine again. Yep, and that's their chance, the but is Sheep in this mid lane. There's no way Nande is going to be able to take a Dragon Knight past Sheep, and A-Pony is here as well. Like I said, it's not going to happen, and the fact that Frawl was just able to take back the top shrine for his team. Yeah, bot shrine is still in pretty solid control here for Team Blue, but I think uh, Noodles and A-Pony alongside sheep they want to make something happen here currently a uh, mid lane is unoccupied so they need to make it happen but still that little dance around the shrines yeah this is would like to see a camp um, just picked up here pretty soon just to f make something happen just to force something if, they, if either team goes for a camp at this point there's no way they're going to be able to hold on to the shrine while they do it oh they just need they one though having to back up here noodles oh. and t noodles and sashka coming in to harass him a bit Starzerk needs to get back as well. Oh, he has some venom on him, but can heal back up. Yep, he is fine. Nande actually had some trouble getting back into lane there because Ufo was camping his entrance and dropped a clairvoyance on him. Which I see both shrines still currently in favor of Guitar Bakers. They're currently oh, Tomsy's in trouble. Finally goes down. Good kill here for Team Red. A7 now in control of Bard Shrine. Top Shrine should be taken here by Thrall pretty soon, but Breeze is still in there and. I think Brightwind can jump over if she wants to. Yep, yeah, there she is. Catch Star Zerg. And once again, we go for the fact of you don't want V1 for all. Brightwing coming in to assist and keep with this. Both shrines currently in favor of Beat Our Bakers, but there is no one near enough to take this. Nande currently in a fierce battle with Shashka here. There are now spiders joining the fray. But it looks like Nanda will be able to get out here, but here comes the rest of the team. There's the stun. There's the blink, and he runs straight to Sheep. And Sheep picks up the kill. Yeah, that gives solid control uh, to Ace Heaven. Maybe they can make something happen, but no really, really good pressuring out of Breeze and Shadow Mare in the top lane. Starzerk needs to stay back, so they're not going to get the Dragon Shrine for now. But they will go for their camps. Bottom, ta bottom uh, camps have been taken, and the Sea Giants are making their way. Tomzy will need to deal with this. And did we get a steal here? Uh, no, the, nope, no, that was it just bright. looked like it. Just the bribe by Shadow Mare. Yep, Shadow Mare headed up there, and so these giants will deal with each other, and because there are three members, which will soon be two, for Beat Our Bakers in this bottom lane, they will be able to clear that up very, very quickly. Ah, uh, Nande is still waiting in mid, but Arthas needs to recapture top if they want to take that. And right now, Thrall's doing a good job just keeping in control here, but mind you, Brightly can still jump up there and help out Arthas. And she will if, if Thrall ever gets a little bit lower. Yep, can keep doing that. This seems to be all happening. These two engage each other, and then not much else happens. Brightwing teleports in, and apparent for all, once has died and has once not died. In comes a huge roam into the bot lane, though, and this will mean bot shrine will be going over to Ace Heaven. There's no one in the mid lane, though. Starzog was thinking about it, but because he did think about it, he's about to almost lose his his shrine. Over to Breeze, in comes Brightwing again, and they've rooted Starzog this time. There's his ult coming in, though. So, he looks like he's going to be able to get out of there fairly safely. He's popped his Wind Fury for the speed boost, and he is out. Yep, once again, stay safe. But uh, he's losing control of this top lane. He, he will need some help, but so far I think both teams are kind of content with just keeping one shrine and uh, just leveling up. But we're going to see a team fight here eventually, at least I hope so. Both teams have their level 10s available, but not really used them so far. Oh, well, except yeah, for that Sundering. Yeah, we saw the Sunder and that's about it. Both teams playing it very passively, very safely. Apparently Ravenous Spirit was used. According to uh, my countdown thing, I'm not sure yeah, where true. and when, but it ah. didn't really do much because no one else is dead. Nande is still hiding out in the mid, but hasn't been seen just yet. Nazibo is going to oh, stop him. Oh, Nande is in trouble. Nope. Nande is in trouble. In the top lane, Breeze and Starzerg are battling it out here, but once again, Breeze is learning, don't 1v1 Thrall. He's attempting to win via Micro with the power of minions, but Wind Fury, so much damage, there's the Envenom, Envenom. Oh, it's Judgment cool. on top of him, and he's just bullied away. This gives solid control to Ace Heaven if they really want to go for that shrine. Oh, Thrall's taken out. How did he go down? Was Zeratul. that still in Venom? Nope. Zeratul. Zeratul jumped in. Yeah, and, it, and the Venom was used by Thrall. 
Um, Arthur's okay. never actually used his versus Oh, wow, the blink battles here. Coming out from <laughs> Nande versus Tashka. Those two having the little darts of death between each other. And there's the blink. He already has wormholes, so he's actually just doing a huge amount of harass here onto Tashka, but he's in trouble now that Noodles is here. The, the polymorph came in to try and help uh, keep Noodles away from Nanda. Nanda over the wall, and he is out. Yeah, Noodles needs to get out of there. Tyrael uh, has a little bit of health left and a little bit of mana as well. They really need to save themselves now. Thrall is getting back in the fight and maybe they can make a turnaround happen now. They're looking towards getting an engagement angle here. Possibly and top try. Gravity of Spirit is coming down and it's all onto Breeze. Three ults, uh, two ults, sorry, there. Used on Breeze. I think that might have been a bit overkill, but it is going to give them this top shrine. Right Wing and Zeratul were nowhere to be seen with that help there. Wubby heading into this mid lane and <laughs> starts her coming in right behind her. She has to back up. In the meantime, Zagara is just owning this bot lane. Even Sheep with his amazing wave clear cannot defend against that. Yeah, and oh. she's been doing some really good siege damage. 38,000. Oh, that is incredible. Oh. Now Uf is just going to annoy Nande. But yet, there is the shrine over to beat our bakers. They now control both, but there's no way they're going to be able to get into this mid lane. Nande is here, but so is Starzerg and the bot shrine going to be going over to Ace Heaven. Still, no Dragon Knight at what is about to be 10 minutes. Ace Heaven also picking up Tomzi the Zagara. In this that is fight. a really back and forth game. We haven't seen too many team fights right now, and no Dragon, dra no Dragon Knight so far. Oh, kind of, kind of a weird down game. Here. He is in danger. The slow coming in from Arthas might be enough here. There's the root. There's the polymorph. And we will see Starza go down. And these teams are just trading back and forth. This is the most <laughs> even game we have seen so far. Wubby for having sure. to be back for health at this point. And it's four kills to five. <laughs> XB currently in favor of beat our bakers. It's so close. Uh, just by a little though. Zashka tries to get in there, but only with the heap of sh help of sheep, it's not going to work. So they need to keep this mid lane alive. Tower's already run out of ammo. And we might be seeing a team fight down here. There comes the engage onto Wabi. But uh, Nani is coming in from the back as well. Hey Pony, using his Ravager Spirit, but he does go down. There's the Void Prism as well. Shadow Bear's in a bit of danger, but he does have Emerald Wind if he really needs it. And instead, just gonna can turn around and try and re-engage here. There's the polymorph onto Sheep. Sheep caught with the Baron Moor. Tommy, Tommy waiting for his opportunity. Sheep has shielded himself, but in the meantime, Wubby is in serious danger. He will go down here. What? Uh, Sheep also went down though, so that was a one for one. Sorry, a two for one. Noodles taking a lot of damage. Breeze is continuing the chase onto Shashka here, and it's currently a three for one, tr three for one trade in favor. Of beat our bakers, they Ooh, are. It's Ashka, the just one more route, and he's gone down. Ooh, nice. With Reason the death call in the end. He's in trouble with the help of Tyrael, but not enough to take him down. The shield he got from his stone skin there is huge. 30% of your max health when you're an Arthas. Really nice there. The double hunter killer coming in from Tomzi, just harassing that forward a bit. In comes Brightwing, just in case they decide to chase. But finally, the first dragon of the game is going over to beat our bakers and it will be taken by breeze wow that's um a 12 minute 12 minute dragon this is not something you usually see yeah well at this point you would probably be seeing teams starting to take the shrines for their second dragon or at least yeah. taking the second or maybe at most taking the second dragon this is not first dragon timing not at all but this has been a really back and forth game and so far, um, Vidar Bakers have made a nice, uh, yeah, nice early lead. Well, not really early, but they got a little bit of a lead here. Still, no fort is down just yet. Yep, they're not. Uh, no fort has been taken. The Tassadar is continuing to shield on this. There comes the the Spirit, going to be giving chase there, but Zeratul. Attempting to come in onto Nazibo there, but got instantly dodgmented by Shashka there. Great reactions there from Ace Heaven. Nande giving his life for that. Kill count still ever so slightly in favor of Vitar Baker's Sheep. Going to be phase shifting out of that. Shadow Bear is now in danger, but it's going to pop the Emerald Wind. Trying to keep himself alive. Also, he's used to take the shield, but there's the cast aside. He does go down. That Devouring Lord didn't actually hit anyone. So this is looking really bad for Vitar Baker's Wubby. Jumping out of there, he's able to heal himself with Blood for Blood to keep himself alive. 
Tomsy is in the back just doing any damage he can, but this is not looking good for our Bakers now. They just gave the life of two of their members to take down a gate and a to take down a gate, two towers, uh, a uh, three towers, sorry, and a fountain. And it looks like uh, Ace Heaven might be able to get that exact amount and all the kills with just the counter assault here. They were able to take down Tomsy again there. To be able to get the fort very low, they doesn't look like they'll take down that last tower. Starza just healing up so much with the combination of Ufa and his own healing ability. And down goes Thrall, finally. Nice Void Prism there by uh, Nunde here. He's having to run away from A-Pony though, he's just giving chase. And Sheep does go down. And once again, the trades continue. Both teams just giving it life after life. A-Pony will go down again. And both teams just trading back and forth. It doesn't stop. Wow, th that was one of the longest team fights I've ever seen. <laughs> that really, really took a long time. But why did why did Ace Heaven stay in this fight for so long? Greed. <laughs> they saw a keep. They wanted the fort. They, they saw a fort. They wanted it. Same reason that uh, Vitar Bakers stayed. Both forts at tiny amounts of health because both teams. Fought and this is the reason why both of these teams. Vegas. This is the reason why both of these teams are actually in the um, match for third place and not it didn't already uh, it didn't already advance. Yeah, if you want to qualify. be a bit, sometimes you can be a bit too greedy. This yeah. might just be tiredness. We can attribute it down to that. But something the teams will need to look out for in future matches. They are obviously far better than us. We can judge them all we want, but overall, if we tried to play against them, we would lose. For sure. Especially at this hour. <laughs> they've been playing they've been playing all this time. We've just been talking. Yeah. We'd probably be able to play better than them, but we would have no communication. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guy. The guy over there. I think he has a venom. Do something. <laughs> yeah, do something about it. Yeah. Right now. Mercenaries are being cleared up by Ace Heaven. Clearing up with those giants fairly easy. They have control of this spot shrine. Starzerk waiting to see if he can maybe catch someone out here. Nande was able to take the top shrine, so we're not going to see a Dragon Knight going over. Oh, neutral boosters will be taken here for Ace Heaven. Yeah, Ace and Heaven. no contest coming out of Bigar ba Baker, so... They will have to deal with those bruises. Oh, Zashka needs to watch out, though. Yep. It's a little bit of a risky route he's taken. Yeah, it should have gone the other way. It was a very interesting route. Yeah, I think he was trying to bait out for Pony, however, who is still here waiting for his opportunity. Here comes the engagement. There's the rabbit of spirit onto Tomzy, and Tomzy gets Wombo locked down. Oh, and Breeze! And Breeze will be joining him. There's the Sunder as well to pick him off. Shadow Bear was caught in that Sunder as well, but he may be able to escape. There is the Raid of Vengeance, but not enough. The shield is too high on Shashka. They're not able to take him down. And once again, another very positive fight going over to uh, Ace Heaven. They're still level behind though, and we have three times both with the Storm for beat our Bakers on Zeratul, on Valor, and on Zagara. So they could be, they could get out of fights uh, better, a little better than this game, at uh, this last fight at least. Yep, it is currently two forts to is currently two forts to one. Beat up, be, beat our, beat our Bakers. <laughs> Still, you did it earlier. Vita Bank is still currently a little bit ahead. Nunda attempting to sneak in here. Void Prism Sheep just to get the shrine, just to stop it being wow. taken. A great that move. might have been overkill here. And now Nanda is in trouble. A Pony was like a three quarters of the way through taking that. That was perfect timing. It was the only thing he could have done. And it stopped them losing the Dragonite here. Emerald Wind interrupted by the stun there from Ufa. And in comes a pony to join the fight here. Wobby going hard onto him though, but in comes Shashka. And the problem is they're missing two members here. Tomzy has just arrived though. If Varen Moore hits no one, Emerald Wind doing pretty much nothing, but it's pushed Shashka into the team. He is trying to run away a different way, but he does get rooted down. He will get taken out. And that's still a two for one though. Yeah, still not a bad fight and uh, still yeah. give them control, but bolts. they're not going to be able to take this. Uh, with Wabi, Tomzy and Breeze in the mid lane, they're not going to be able to capture this Dragon Shrine. Yep, Wabi uh, actually bolted, uh, bolted the storm to get that. Oh my god, oh. Spider! Oh. Ravenous Spirit onto Wabi! Goes <laughs> what a surprise! Starzerg as well! Yeah, very much a surprise! Guess who? And Starzerg actually bolted onto Tomzy there to drive him back. Sheep attempted to take the, the Dragon Knight, but you can't do that when you are in phase shift form. Pony will be able to take this. That's the first Dragonite of the game going uh, the first Dragonite for Ace Heaven. 
being taken. Both teams taking Dragonite. Both teams level 20. Two Dragonites. Two level Dragonites 20. at this 18 is... minutes. Yeah. And now they're even in forts, even in levels, almost dead even in levels. Wow, this is insanity. This is, wow, one of the closest, closest match teams I've ever seen. Yeah, this is good, but at the moment, advantage looks pretty much in favor of Ace Heaven. They have the Dragon Knight, they are rolling forward as much as they can. They have a little bit of an XP lead, and they're looking very good in the team fights. Their Eraser Cop is working very well. Monday. Even see oh, the Breeze going. caught out on the right side, but he's getting kicked out of the fight. And yeah, they just want to deal some dam some damage, all damage they can. Switching lanes, rotating back down here. Um, Breeze is still in there, but nope, they just want to get down those forwards. Get the towers down, get the gates down, and open things up for a later attack again. Yep, Brightwing just used Emerald Wind to prevent Starzerg and Sashka from just diving in and chasing down as they retreated from their gank position. And I would like to point out, currently, Nande has zero stacks So he, on his uh, gathering power. And now he's about to get reverted from zero back to zero as he does get completely erased there. The Devouring Maw was good though, but we do see Shadow Bear teleporting onto Wubby to keep her alive. The fight has turned around though at the other side of, at the other side, Shashka is currently doing battle. There's two fights going on at the same time, but one has just ended. It's now Shadow Bear and Wubby. Tried to escape from Sheep at A Pony. Down goes Zagara. They were able to pick her off. Thrall is still doing battle with Breeze. Breeze is able to take him down in the end. Shadowmare is being back here. Clairvoyance has been used on Wubby. He is continuing to just run for his life. Shadowmare was interrupted while going B. He polymorphed Shashka, but he does go down. Breeze wow, has arrived. what a chase. <laughs> and Breeze, what the heck are you doing over here? Yeah, Breeze came in. He was ready for more. But him and Wubby are now going to back out here. And once again, another fight that looked pretty pretty good in uh, Ace Heaven's favor. And Wabi, I mean, what an amazing escape. She was so incredibly low and still got away from that. Um, not bad, not bad at all. And now they're going for the Bruiser camp. Um, Ace Heaven also recuperating their losses. I um, would expect them to go for their own Bruiser camp. We'll have to see. Tessida and uh, Uther are getting in position. Yep, they appear to be getting they appear to be getting ready. And right now, Ace Heaven taking the lead they had and they're beginning to run away with it. Four counts still even, only one level difference. Vidar Bakers are far from out of this game. But they need to start taking better fights. By the way, we only have one bolt of the storm on Ace Heaven's side on Thrall. Okay. And then, of course, uh, Angel of Justice, Divine Hurricane, Twilight Archon, and Annihilating Spirit on Nazebo. Okay, oh. so my mouse has finally decided that today is going to be the day after three years it's going to die. So I am currently controlling my camera with the keyboard. Not bad. Keep it up. <laughs> I'll keep it going. Shrine, Bot Shrine currently going over to Ace Heaven. No one is heading into the top lane for either team to gain, contr to gain control here. Bruiser camp though, gonna be cleared up very quickly. Breeze moving in here, looking for his opportunity to take the shrine. Looks like he will be able to do it. Starza looking to maybe contest here, but takes a bit of harass for his trouble. He will heal up very quickly though, thanks to that frost wolf resilience. Yeah, they're trying to get on top of that shrine again. But Breeze and the remainder of his team are making a good stand here. But right now it looks like a nice concave coming out of Ace Heaven. Pretty much have this whole area zoned out, and Sheep gets control of this shrine again. They only have bottom shrine under control. And top shrine, we still have a couple of bruisers pushing this forward. It's actually yeah. taking some decent damage, has a couple of shots in there again, but so many minions surrounding it, I think this fort might go down. Yes, yeah, it will. There it goes, and that brings, that is a bit of an XP boost for uh, Beat Our Bakers here. Very, very useful for them, so they're currently looking for their chance to try and re-engage here. Nande needs to get into a pony. It's just so, so passive at the moment. There's the Void Prism, though. That has to be the engagement, whether it's good or not. But no, Nande's decided it's not enough because they weren't able to catch Nazibo, and there is the judgment. But nice blink to dodge it. Nande able to get out of that, and now if Oh, Reign of Vengeance comes in. Wabi, but she can't doubt it back out there. Devon Mar also coming in, only catching one. Oh, nothing, nothing. No one was caught in that Devouring Mar. So Ashka needs to get up out, <laughs> gets out of that fight. Divine Storm also pulled. 
and everyone is retreating on A7's side. Zashka solo, Sheep solo, Stars are caught out and he's being sandwiched but taken out Brightwing. And maybe they can turn this fight around now. Sarzog is still in there, still being healed here. And they take out Zagara, they take out Zeratul. And meanwhile, he is the only one that goes down for now. Wabi, also incredibly low. She goes down. And now it's only Breeze remaining. Can this be the another run. team kill? There is the thing of Arthas being immortal, he never dies. But with this chase, Noodles can land the start. A Pony's coming in as well. Zombie Wolf. Might be what ends this here. There's the stun. There's the storm. Where's the zombie wall? Zombie wall blocks off one escape, but the root stops the chase. Breeze is just buying time at this wow. point. Wow. goes down, and that is the ace for Ace Heaven. And they're going to be taking this top lane shrine. And it's going to be Tassadar heading into that Dragon Knight. Yeah, but uh, I got to say, I mean, Arthas, he just stayed alive for so long and bought so much time. Otherwise, they could have possibly. Uh, even gotten that keep for free, but now it's still gonna be a fight. Brightwing is almost back in the game, so is Zagara and Zeratul, but Arf is still out, so they can't really commit all that much to the next fight. Yeah, we're seeing Sheep here delaying the Dragon Knight as long as possible. His team was still on respawn, the enemy team was still on respawn, there was no way he was gonna be interrupted, so why not just delay the Dragon Knight so you get the maximum duration out of it possible? Let's see where he's going to attack. Uh, looks like bottom lane will be his lane of choice here. But Zagara already in position. But they did take out all of the towers and gates here. So did uh, mid lane though. So they can they can rotate back if they want to. And look yep. at this positioning out of Zashka. He's ready. He really wants to lure someone out and then go for the judgment. Yep, he is ready. He has the upgraded range on judgment as well. So he's going to be able to hit people way back into this base and here he comes looking for his opportunity here he can see Nunda he, even though Nunda's invisible it still gives the shimmer and that's going to be the target he wants with Nunda being the squishiest character other than Wubby but Nunda does get rooted does get envenomed and you can see Shashka moving forward there's the Sunder and Stars are just going in on this there's the there is the Raid of Vengeance out of Wubby and Wubby able to escape here what nice void prism from Zeratul slightly delaying a pony but wobby goes down there's the judgment there is the divine hurricane onto breeze who's once again on the wrong side of the enemy team who's just gonna run away nunze finally able to take down that dragon knight with the help of shadow mare and tomzy tomzy is just gonna have to, has been doing an amazing job of defending here with banelings and his minions but uh there's not much can really do about it they are, are down a keep and that's the first keep of the game they are in some serious danger Yep, and now with the siege camp gone, they still have to deal with those siege shrines um, next to their base, but now ne new siege shrines are coming in. I doubt that uh, Ace Heaven is going for some kind of shenanigans now, but ooh, look at that. Already setting up the next gank possibility here, but it's not going to happen. The entirety of uh, Beat Your Bakers is currently taking the Bruiser camp. Let's see. Maybe they find an opening here on the back. Nande is coming in. Oh, oh no. Nande! That you was so You don't want to go in that bush. <laughs> oh dear. And right oh, now... Oh, that's two heroes down. Yeah, I think... Uh, well, Val is about to be back up. They're just going to use this opportunity to push in a bit further. I doubt they will go for the end here. But A7, still very much further ahead. A Pony being engaged on here, but they don't get the root on him. He sprints out and is still alive. Yeah, they're trying to find an angle, but it looks like they found a perfect angle to take out that keep and get another XP advantage here. Yep, keep is going down. Catapults and sea shrines are moving in. And they're still in this 27 second cooldown here on Zeratul. So they have a little bit of an edge here. They have a little bit of an opportunity. Let's make it count. Not going to overcommit though. Yeah, they, well, they've been here a long time. If there was any kind of overcommitting. They did it quite a while back. They're just hanging here. They actually might lose their keep in the top lane. If they're not careful, wow. I'm not going to fly across the map because I'd have to just press right until it got there. So I can't actually look at it myself. But uh, they're taking a lot. I'm assuming they're taking a lot of damage. It's been there for quite yep, a while. Yeah, the keep is almost down. Yeah, they're going to lose this keep. Shrines are about to spawn. Down it goes. Shrines have spawned. It's, only, it's still only a one level advantage. No damage onto the fort for beat our bakers. They still have the chance here, and you can see them moving in here, and they really don't want a face check. Oh, Noodles is waiting there. They even disrupted the Bruiser camp. 
And Zashka is trying to find an opening here, but it's not happening right now. Starzerg actually singled out. Keeping him in the back. And so far not really finding their angle. Breeze is taking a lot of damage, but you don't really want to go on top of Breeze. And now Nani is coming in from the top. There comes the judgment onto Wabi. But Divine Storm keeping them in the back. And Shadow Man just pushing them in there. Nice devouring more. Getting two heroes in there, Sashka and Noodles, they pop out, and Breeze caught in the middle there, but Sashka is so incredible though, he needs to get out of that fight, so does Noodles, but Arthas goes down first, and Uther is oh, taken out in the process, oh, Zero no. Tool also going down, Brightwing goes down, the zombie oh, it so can snowball good. again. So many members, Tomzy will get locked down, it is now just Wubby who is backing up, trying to keep himself alive, but he is the last remaining member, 50 second respawns on the side of Beat Our Bakers. They were looking so good in that fight until two of their members got caught in that zombie wall. And then suddenly it was a catastrophe and that will be a team wipe uh, by Ace Heaven onto Guitar Bakers. They're going to move on to the core with the three members they have. Shashka is quite low here, but it's going to be zombies that are tanking this and the double shields coming out from Shashka himself. Yeah, and, and still a 20 second cooldown on most of these heroes. So with, with a massive cooldown like that, it's not going to happen here. This is going to be the kill. And it's going to be 1-0 to Ace Heaven. Yeah, Ace Heaven taking the lead in this series and bringing themselves one step closer to a place in the Heroes Premier League Season 2. Wow, Vala, 110,000 uh, siege damage versus Tacitus, 160 almost. Hero damage, 95 on uh, both Nazebo and Vala. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty good. But remember, guys, this is a best out of three series. So there is still a chance for Beat Our Bakers to come back here. Or we could see what we saw um, Arthas do to Ace Heaven and get a full shutout. For sure. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to require a quick bio break. So I I'll also be right back. A bio break, so uh, okay. you might want to mute or first. something. <laughs> uh, if okay. you want to go first, I can sit and talk for a bit. Okay, sure thing. <laughs> Alright. So, next map, ladies and gentlemen, will be Blackheart's Bay. Players are getting into the lobby now. So we'll be getting underway as soon as possible. And uh, as for sound being out of sync, I'm hearing nothing on my end, but I am not the streamer. So I do not know if we are out of sync at all. So there's no way for me to tell, unfortunately. So a lot of messages in the, uh, in the caster chat. Meh, I'll read that later. That's, that is too long a message. Let me load up the draft. There we go. Neither, neither team is in that yet. Lobby is already populated by Beatar Bakers. We're just going to be waiting for Ace Heaven to get in. A Pony is going to be the first to join. And we'll get that underway quite soon. And uh, the last time a uh, Beatar Bakers did play on this map, they did win. But that was against four people and a bot. And, and that is a team that went on to beat them in the end. But they still played re, uh, fairly well, even if it was against a bot. So curious to see if they're going to be able to take this on their own versus, uh, when they have a, five, a full five versus five. We will have to see. A Pony is already in the lobby. The rest of their players will join shortly. And we'll be getting the draft underway. Having a look at the last game draft, though, it is still fairly decent comps by them. They have a lot of CC on that Nazi bow, but they just weren't able to deal with it. And it was actually Frawl who was able to, to take most of them down. Frawl just running into the back line because they were spending so much on dealing with Nazi bow that he was able to kill just so many people. It's a great combo. And they treat, they used it really well. It was a gr really nice eraser comp. Whereas on the side of Beatar Bakers, Zeratul is nice. He's good at picking off these kind of people, but he just wasn't able to get in. And the Tassadar pickup at the end was a great counter, thanks to Oracle. Uh, oh, no, sorry, there wasn't a pickup. So they picked a... Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was a it is a counter pick. So it goes uh, Nazi Bow first. So yeah, Tassadar, great pickup. Oracle being great for countering uh, Tassadar. Uh, Zeratul, sorry. Just the f and also the fact that the stealth retimer has been increased. Making it very difficult for stealthers nowadays at all. Those stealthers. <laughs> Those stealthers indeed. I think one of the teams is ready for the draft. Do you want to go? Um, yep, go I will ahead. run off quickly. Be right back. 
Okay. All right, so Beto Bakers is already set for the next draft. Game two. Definitely a shout out to Starzerk by Baker. A7 dominating the team fights, that's for sure. But I still think this was one of the closest games we've ever casted so far. Um, way until the end. But um, I gotta say, I mean, like, from level 20 on, <laughs> and this is not something you hear every day, but from level 20 on, um, A7, they got a little bit of an edge to make it happen. <laughs> and this is Starzerk version 2.0. <laughs> All right, fellas, um, let's see, Ace have not quite ready yet. Do we have a lobby set up? Yeah, we do. So I'll join that game already. Um, our next map will be Blackheart's Bay. And then the final map, if we're going into that, will be Cursed Hollow. All right, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> Anyone wants Starzerx IP? No, don't DDoS, people. It's not way to go. Not sportsmanlike conduct. Alright, uh, let me check what we do have a little bit of downtime. I think I do have a couple of more team fights. Uh, nope, that's not the right one. But this. Yep. I do have two team fights, but we can also check out when we're returning. I have no idea when that's happening. Or um, the next qualifier. I think it's not too far off. Uh, third qualifier happening January 31st. That's uh, in two weeks. Exactly in two weeks. Those. That works. Alright, fellas. Um, let's have a look at that replay while we're still waiting for the draft. Oh, it's actually coming up now. Never mind. We might have downtime later on. We'll show you the replay then. Okay, let's go into the draft. It's beat our baker's turn to ban. It's still 30 seconds. I don't know why. Usually the bans are the parts of the drafting process that go the quickest. And that usually pretty much instant bans. And it's Tassadar. Okay, interesting. And... Which one does Ace have him ban out now? I'm taking a little bit longer here. So far we've mostly seen uh, Stitches bans. Um, Mured in a couple of times. Stitches and Stitches and Zeratul were pretty much uh, the go-to bans. Oh. Yeah, Stitches and Zeratul were the ones that we've seen the most of. But also a couple of Muradins. And it's Muradin again. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go back to their first draft. Yep, also Muradin ban, but Stitches on Beat Our Baker's side. And yep, I was gonna say, Beat Our Baker's going for Stitches then. Interesting, Ace Heaven could have also banned Stitches. Maybe they would have picked Muradin uh, in that case. And Brightwing Zero Tool, instant pickup for Ace Heaven. I think they're gonna be quite happy about that. I think they did a pretty good job um, on, on Zero Tool and Brightwing before. I have returned. Welcome back. Draft has started and we already have a couple heroes picked. So I see. So Tassadar first ban, Muradin second. Nice to see him uh, being banned some more. Mm -hmm. And Stitch's first pick. And yeah, we're seeing a lot of the same names come up nowadays. I agree. I agree. Let's see if we're gonna see uh, Sergeant Hammer again. I it's would been think one so. One of the constant uh, picks tonight. It's Black Hearts though, so mm, it's a yeah. bit more difficult for Sergeant Hammer to excel, but not impossible. Well, Arthur's stitches, so um, they might want to go for the assassin or one more assassin, maybe two more assassins now. They need. They need two more assassins. Valor. They they want to have Valor. They want to have Valor, unfortunately. It is not their pick currently. It is A7, and A7 could very easily steal Valor here. Yeah, that's what no, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, sorry. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, so, yeah, they, both warriors for be a big summon taken, so yeah, it's definitely going to be an assassin, probably two assassins there at all be treated as the secondary warrior kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Tastar being banned, then I'd say he would be amazing in this scenario, but because he is banned, it's basically a free license to take there at all by Ace Heaven. And Valor yep, there's Zeebo. a double assassin, or assassin slash pseudo assassin, Valor and Nazibo, like you said. So... What's their final warrior go pick going to be? The tankiest one they can find, probably. That or uh, they'll go for another racer. Uh, Chen, or they'll go for another racer comp and completely forgo tankiness. So okay. that'll be Tyrael again. Okay. Well, I mean, Tyrael could work with this. Yeah, could go. Could go. Well, Chen would actually. And also, a fairly you also want to kind of Tyrael. counter pick uh, against. Well, this wouldn't really be counter picking. If they leave Tyrael open, they might go for him. Yeah, uh, A7 really do like picking Nazibo quite early here. But the reason for that is BDR Bakers keep throwing out their warriors very early, which means it's very unlikely they're going to be picking a Nubarak here because of, because of this. And because Tychus is banned, he's one of the long-range CCs that would, in some, scenario, excuse me, in some scenarios, be interrupting Nazibo. But it's going to be Faustad and Zagara as the final picks for BDR Bakers. Not bad. This is not bad at all. Zagara to take the so, um, solo uh, solo bot lane, and felt that to be um, yeah a little bit of a flexible, motile um, assassin over there. Hey, so what's the final pick here for Ace Heaven? Uh, what did they? They definitely need Shen, some Tyrion. sort of warrior. Yeah, some someone along those lines. Etc. <laughs> Diablo. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I would like to, <laughs> but Diablo is broken and ETC is just mm. not pickable enough. To be fair, we saw Nazibo ETC and last, Sarge, uh, uh, two weeks ago, didn't we? we did. I think we've seen ETC but, once. Uh, with Nazibo and Valor on this team, if they wanted to, ETC would actually, with uh, if he could get a good mosh pit off, they'd pretty much kill everything. But I think there's too much interrupt for uh, from Beta Bakers for ET or short range interrupt anyway for ETC to be considered an option. Shen. Yep. It's going to be also, Shen. They need something tanky. I like it. Um, we've seen uh, on on one of the maps we've seen Shen already. Uh, I think it was on Sky Temple. Also played by Ace Heaven, if I remember correctly. And they played him quite well. I believe so. Sheep has asked for BRB to go to the toilet. So once he is back and all the players have readied up, we will be getting into the game. Looking at these comps. It's very much going to be an engage and erase comp minus the Tyrael because they do need some uh, by Ace Heaven because they do need some kind of tank, which is where Chen is going to be coming in. He is the uh, their only uh, tankiness basically, but he's still got really good engage and decent damage. So that is the role he will be filling here. He'll be locking down people with his route and allowing the free uh, burst assassins in this case to wipe them out. On Bedar Baker's side. They're going to have to be picking Nazibo as much as possible with the stitches into the root. And quite honestly, because of the comp they're up against, I don't think it a too terrible decision to take the secondary Faustad ult here. Okay. Just because you're going to get engaged upon. You're going to get jumped on by Chen. Vala's going to follow in just to make sure she's in a multi-shot range. Zeratul's going to be coming in as well. You might as well just send them all packing either the other way or dash past them and push them further into your team. Oh, that's true. That could work. I, I if you if you dash pa past them and use it to push them into your team, it's a little bit risky. Why not? They'll probably just turn around and chase you down. Because it's this. Well, no, because they'll be p past your team with that. How far the knockback goes. Oh, I've not seen it in action, to be honest. I've only seen the the video where um, I think CS Steve just pushed back all the minions for like 10 minutes and had like a 20 <laughs> waves of minions on the try me mode. Yeah, <laughs> he had some fun with that. But uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it would be a reasonable idea at very least to interrupt Nazibo. And it, it disengages a bit, but I don't think it'll be taken. They need the extra damage. So... Uh, uh, winter, Winterfell, is that it? Winterfell? Winterfell Blast, the ultimate. Uh, I've no idea what it's called. <laughs> Fair enough. You were calling it, you were pronouncing it much better than I was. During, during oh, the, the Hinterland, Hinterland, Hinterland Blast. That's it, not Winterfell. Mm -hmm. 
Winterfell. <laughs> Winterfell, that's... Uh, wait, that's uh, Game of Thrones, right? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I think so. I think it's Game of, Game of Thrones. And but chat will, of course, they're, they're going to correct us here yeah. any second chat, now. Chat, where's Winterfell from? We think, we think it's Game of Thrones, we might be wrong. <laughs> so uh, tell us. I know Northrend is like the ice place from WoW, so it's not a WoW reference. So yeah, I think it's probably Game of Thrones. I know Hinterlands is, is a reference to the uh, Rafi Hinterlands in World of Warcraft. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> An area or... Uh, that's on, on, I think, Calendor side? Well, Calendor is the whole thing. Ah, jeez. No, it's a. I've only played Azeroth, two, two months thing. of. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. I think Calendor is the continent on, on the east, isn't it? I, I think don't so. Know. I don't play Warcraft. Well, but you played you played Warcraft 3. <laughs> I do, you? but I don't remember. It was late. It was, that was ages <laughs> yeah, ago. Yeah, it's that been ages ago. ago. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into game number two of this best of three series. Winner of the series will be winning that third spot in the Heroes Premier League Season 2. And spawning on the left side in the blue trunks, it is Beat Our Bakers. And starting in the top lane, playing on the Arthas, it is Nunday. In the mid lane, playing on the Stitches, it is Breeze. Playing on the Falstead and currently being back to base for mana, it is Wubby. Playing on the Oof, it is Shadowmare. And on the Zagara, it is Tomzy. And their opponents in the red trunks. They are A7 and they want to close the series off. Leading 1 0. We have Noodles in top lane on Brightwing. In mid lane, we have Sheep playing Shen. And in bot lane, triple stack uh, Zashka on Zeratul. Starzerk on Valor. And Pony on the Zebo. First yep, and, uh, here. Zashka very nearly ran into some serious danger there, but. Did not take any damage himself and was able to deal a single auto attack to Wubby, who has already regened all that health back. Yeah, and we have a triple stack uh, in bot lane on both sides. Interesting. Not something you, you see every day, not every match. Yeah, Meanwhile, just uh, top and mid lane's uh, taken by Shen, Stitches, and uh, Brightwing Arthas. Yep, Wubby being engaged upon by Shashka, but Shashka does get rooted down, and Shashka immediately flicks in and goes for Tomzy instead. This is a lot of damage he's taking here, but he's able to back out, and Shadow Bear almost lost his life for attempting to kill the baiting, the baiting Zeratul here. Zeratul moving in again, possibly looking to try and catch Wubby a second time. No coins out of this bottom chest yet. In the mid lane, however, Breeze has got all the coins. Oh, Shadow Bear caught in the zombie wall, and Zashka moves in there immediately, gets first blood. Ufer is on the hunt though. Zashka needs to stay out of this fight. Tomzy. <laughs> Wubby still doing a bit more damage. Tomzy was able to back out. Wubby taking a lot of damage again, but Pony and Starzo do not want to follow this in. Breeze has lumbered down to this bot lane and he will be picking off a Pony. And he will be t picking up those coins for himself. Seven coins on the stitches right now. One on the Zagara. Jen. Has zero coins. He's just looking for a bit of a, a bit of a bit of an area control, and Shashka with one coin of his own as well. Stars are having to back up there thanks to the hunter killer from Zagara. Yeah, and Shen is paying up, getting rid of his eight coins. What a nice pickup! And you want to keep that safe, so makes a lot of sense. Of course, is returning back into the mid lane where Sheep uh, has done a good job just holding off the minions so far, but hasn't really pushed into um, the blue side of the map. So the chat have a, the chat have a have educated me hugely here. Um, Winterfell is Game of Thrones. Hinder Hinterlands is the place Falstead rules over, and it's in Northern EK. EK and Kalimdor is the west east is to the west of the Eastern Kingdoms, and it's in Yano, is to the and uh, it's in Yano, which is to the east. Okay. Uh, okay. Weird. Weird. So much education right now. Yeah, I, f <laughs> I feel I feel uh, I feel the lore, the Warcraft lore. <laughs> the lore flows through me. They're also asking if we were laughing at the uh, the gust ult from Falstad. No, no not it's at honestly all. the counter. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, so, Wubby. Oh, Stitch is almost landing the hook onto Shashka there, but Shashka able to able to stay it safe. And once again, we're seeing Beat Our Bakers killing buildings. But it doesn't matter if you kill them after the cannon has already fired them. It will not re-aim. Yep, that's not going to work. They should have done a little bit of damage beforehand. But still, that fort is going to take some damage. 
Wobby's helping out there as well, and they might... No, nope, they're not going to take it down. Not quite yet. Oh, yes, they are. Jeez. Yeah, they dealt a bit. Of, uh, they were able to kill off one tower before the uh, ah, okay. thing before the thing targeted it, so it did take an extra shot. Nandy rotating up to the top lane, gonna be helping clear up this bruiser camp here. Right, there's a hinterland in Sweden. I wonder if there's a griffin there. Wobby <laughs> gonna be flying down to this bot lane. Oh, they only have trolls. They only have trolls in Sweden. Hey, that's what you did there. <laughs> Tomzi and Wobby are going to be pushing it down this bottom lane, but in comes oh. Sashka. Sashka, a much more aggressive zero tool than we saw from Nande. Nande would wait his opportunity. Ooh, this could have cost him. And like we said, uh, yeah, like you said, Sashka appears to be. Ooh, there's an enemy. I'm going to try and kill it, and then we'll get out by the skin of his teeth. More with luck than anything else, I would say. This is something your uh, your shot caller and your team captain is going to hate you for. Yeah. Can you stop? I, I need to keep an eye on you. What are you doing? Because uh, the thing is, there's no way he's calling it out. He's like, I'm heading to bot lane. Yep. There's a guy I'm going to kill. I, him. I'm just going to go could for the guy, guy that's slow. <laughs> could you All tell by me myself. so that we could help? Yeah. He's, he's, he's going to be uh, saying stuff as he does it. That's how, zero tools, <laughs> that's how fun zero tools are. That's how I am in games. I am a terrible zero tool. And I will only tell my team I'm doing something as I'm doing it. Ah, perfect. <laughs> why need? Why? Why do you need to know ahead of time? It doesn't make yeah, too much exactly. sense. <laughs> Planning's overrated. Planning is for pandas and pacifists. As a. <laughs> by, by the way, level 10 talents up for beat our bakers already. They're going for Gorge on Stitches, Army of the Dead, and Arthas. Mighty Gust. Ah, yeah, we're seeing it. We called it. Bell said, putting that out, and it's Divine like Storm on point. Uther, it's devouring right. Morn, Zagara. Oh, Tomzy's caught point. out, but there comes the devouring Morn in position, and Zeratul also picked off up top. Yeah, there's a fight in the mid lane going on while all this is happening. Starzerg is going to be picked off. Sheep is attempting to make the escape. He's being stunlocked, though. Can they finish him off? He shields himself and is able Whoa. to back up, grabs the fountain, and gets what a out clutch by escape. the skin of his teeth. There's actually a coin hidden behind this tower. You can actually only see it if you drag your mouse all the way to the side. Nazibo goes down as well. But seriously, have a look Have a look here at this tower. There's a coin just hidden behind it. Ah, That's really I hard can to rotate see. the like, camera just to see yeah, it. Yeah, rotate your camera just to see it. Just to see it. There's no way they're going to spot that. It's on the mini-map, but there's no way they're going to spot it. Oh, hang on. I think, I think Star Starzerg might... It. Yep, he's seen yeah, it. Yeah, there we go. There just we pick go. Up. He got it. Yes, he missed it the first time. That's how hard it is to see. Alright, we have level 10 talents also available for Ace Heaven. Oh, Breeze is in trouble. Nope, Shadow Mare and Nuanda are coming in. Pull, pulls it in. Oh, the Gorge! Oh, nice move though! Gorge still spits out Starzerg into the thing. Starzerg will go down, but we also did see Stitches going there. Starzerg actually being healed. Wow, the Gust of Wind just pushes Starzerg straight back into that cave and he will go down. They did not save it for Nazibo though, who's just doing huge damage here. Nuzi, no interrupt save for Nazibo means he's going to wreck everything. Nunze, though, just tanking the Panda Pals here and the Ravenous Spirit. He is able to keep himself alive and pick up 10 coins in the process. Wow, so Pals many stand, coins stolen right there. there. Yeah, it's about 15, epic. 15 coins stolen. Yeah, amazing gust of wind. We'll it have to look at that cool. afterwards. It looks so good. Just watching, it ha just watching it happen. You just saw that happen. And Valor goes flying back into the base. That was awesome. I was surprised that Vela was able to stay alive for such a long time. Yeah, she got healed by Brightwing. Like, Brightwing was sitting right next to the gate trying to keep her alive. We are blessed by the light. Oh dear. That is awesome. I can't not wait to see more of that. This is the first time I've seen the Salt in action in a professional setting. And he's taken Thunder Strikes as well, so his Lightning Rod deals 15% more damage for each subsequent strike. So, even more damage coming out from Falstad here. And this is looking really good for Beedar Bakers. This could yeah. be evening up the score. It certainly looks like it right now. They're getting the next barrage going, and we'll take out top for it. So that's a two for advantage right now. And oh, oh, also a three a... level advantage. Oh, there comes the next Gorge. Breeze got someone, and Zashka and, yep, goes gone. down. No blink available. Drops a coin. Able to do some damage to the towers, though. And they've oh, left the a coin pony. Oh, Gust of Wind, wow. Pony goes flying back into the enemy team. In comes Nunze to try and pick him off. Root does not land, though. Sprint is kind of good, yo. Nice raid of vengeance coming in from Valor, but the counter to Varagmore picks up Valor. 
and uh, I'm not sure who that was, Brightwing. Down it goes anyway. Starza will be picked off too. And the devouring more and the gust of wind and the gorge is just so much, so much CC. It's working really well. Wow. I mean, beat our Bakers, they're in such solid control of this game right now. I, I don't really see him throwing this. Uh, three level advantage. You, there's always the opportunity. There's always a way. And we've <laughs> seen this before. I mean, uh, wasn't it well met that actually threw a game with a two level advantage also on Blackheart's Bay? I think so. It's, it's happened. It has happened. Right now, Peter Bakers, though, gonna be taking the boss. And once again, there is a coin that's been left on the map and it's gonna dry. <sighs> going to annoy me until it gets taken. That one's not even hidden. That <laughs> one's just sitting on the gate. There we go. Someone picked it. Good, good. So I'm assuming they'll be grabbing that. Shadow Mare and Breeze are heading their way towards it. Breeze is going to be the one to not pick it up and annoy me even more. All right, fine. There we go. So I got it. Okay. <laughs> so it's very, I like that coins can just be hidden on the map behind stuff. Starzerk sees Nunday wandering down to that easy camp. Noodles is able to steal the easy cap, but there's no way he's getting out of there. He goes down and leaves his coins behind as well. Shashka came in to try and pick someone off, but he's not getting anything and has had to back out. And they've left a coin behind again. Breeze picking up the Bruce camp in the top lane. And now we're going to see beat up Akers grab what coins they can, clear these mercenaries in the bot lane, and maybe go for a couple small turn-ins with the coins they have. To be honest, I'm not not too happy with um, A7's performance right now. They are they're uh, actually getting a lot of unnecessary deaths here right now, uh, just because they're not sticking together. They're not fighting with each other, but instead just being picked off one by one on the map. Now this is actually something that I'm going to point uh, point out here that we are seeing in all of Beetle Baker's games. You said you don't appear to be too happy with A7. However, Beetle Baker's have been very, very inconsistent over the maps they have been playing. They have been incredible on some maps, this being one of them. They've yep. played very well in it, whereas they've been very wonky and a bit inconsistent on some of the other maps. This is something that's going to have to be looked at for later tournaments if they want to grow and progress as a team. And yep, it seems true. to be their downfall. Very true. But so far it's looking pretty good here, and uh, I think afterwards we're going into Cursed Hollow. That's, so that's another standard map. Maybe they're just a little bit better on these standard maps, whereas Ace Heaven um, is good on the um, yeah on the little bit newer maps like Sky Temple. Well, uh, we saw uh, like... Beat Our Bakers completely wreck on Sky Temple as well, to be fair. Yeah, true. That's true. So if only the, we in the last Sky that one. Temple, then that would be a match. That would be a match to watch both these teams really doing well on Sky Temple. Looks like your pole beat you too. Okay, beat our Bakers looking to find an engagement angle here on the bot lane. Yep, they're look they're trying to just push this down. Arthas and Stitches just tanking everything in the front line there. Looking for their engagement. All ults are up for both teams. So if we see a fight here, which we more than likely will. It's going to be very, very awesome. Cannon will not kill the top keep, but it is now vulnerable for any kind of attack. And we can see that Ace Heaven really don't want to engage here. They want to wait until they have the good engage and not just leap out away from their buildings where they are safe. Yep, they oh did God. successfully defend that keep and we're seeing another rotation on here. Yeah, Faustad, being able to fly ahead is just providing so much just fear in this area. He also has full stacks on his uh, gathering power there. In comes Chen, onto Sheep. Shashka also coming in. He has zero stacks, however. There comes the Ravenous Spirit onto Sheep. And the Reign of Vengeance coming down onto another. Nice Void Prism onto three members of Beat Our Bakers. There, Breeze having to back out, but he is surviving. Nice Gust of Wind pushes the load of members back. Who's in that Void Prism? It is going to be two, two parts of Shen, and the Bruiser Camp goes over to beat our Bakers. Nice, nice pick up here for beat our Bakers. And now they can make a move here on this top lane, maybe even do a split push. It looks like they want to do a split push and um, just get a couple of coins here. How many coins do they, do they currently have? Uh, not enough for an objective, but it's not too shabby either. So they're just going to pick up a couple more coins. Let these bruisers do their work in the top lane and just keep A7 occupied. I am I am loving Mighty Gust. I, I, would, yeah. I would just like this note. It it's just looks so, incredible. 
It looks incredible, and it's been really, really nice. It's like a whole team haymaker minus any damage. It just replaces a tiny. It replaces the really high amount of damage that haymaker does with a very large slow and the ability to hit the whole team, which I think is a pretty decent trade-off. I'm just theory crafting here. What about Tesla um, with Force Wall? That was uh, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Mighty Gust and then um, have an Hinterland Blast with Feltset to finish it off. Just alongside and parallel to the Force Wall. Uh, I was about to say you said Hinterland Blast on Falstad, but you also oh wait that doesn't work that doesn't work yeah you're right you're right but something else something like um oh the line stun from Anubarak yeah that would work I mean it's not massive damage but like a massive uh, CC yeah well you need, like you to need see the, that you need the massive damage really to take that take people down once they're behind that wall so That's uh true. I don't know actually why not just Ufa just stick, stand true. him behind the wall and he just divine storms people <laughs> as they land in front of him. That's not bad. <laughs> we are fairy crafting here. We're fairy crafting this new ability because we haven't seen it in action in such a great way before. We've seen videos on Reddit. I haven't even seen it in a game yet. It is yeah, just this is the first time for me either. Um, all right, level 16 talents up. Um, now for A7 as well. See Critterize on Brightwing. Specialized Toxin. Yep. Uh, combination back. attack, double bombs, and blood for blood on Valor. That might have been a bad time to use the Mighty Gust there. Bobby already using it, it's down for quite a few seconds now, and that was before ults were used. A Pony now has his ult up. Arthas does go down. Tomzy gonna have to back up. There is the Ravenous Spirit. We did see two. Oh, well, that'll work. We're devouring more. Able to just cancel that devouring spirit, and we do see Vala, Zeratul, and Chen have gone down to Noodles. We'll also bite the Dust Breeze. Almost dying to zombies there, but is able to, to uh, consume his way and get some health back. And it is a full team wipe for Beat Our Bakers, all of them very low. But it doesn't matter how much health you finish with if you're able to kill the entire enemy team. And now, with 20 second respawns on pretty much everyone, we are seeing Beat Our Bakers going for the kill. Yeah, they're quite low. They're quite low. They need someone here that has a little bit more health to tank a couple of shots or get these minions in there as well. Catapults are firing oh, as they've, well. They've decided against it. They have, oh. like you said, they have not enough health, and they've decided not to. Well, makes sense. I mean, why risk it? Zeratul and Chen are back, so could have been dangerous. Could have been dangerous, and that core health already lost its shields down to seventy. Catapults did it's okay. the job. Yep, and with uh, with the amount of coins they have right now, I think they're pretty much good to go. They're yeah. gonna pay up and finish off the game. They're they're looking to try and do that, but. We can see A7, this is their last chance to try and protect themselves here. They are hanging around this turning area, but the thing is, they have to stay here, and the longer they hang around, it's <laughs> the more the uh, BR Bakers are just going to be able to do stuff on the map. If they if they stay here, if they don't stay here, the BR Bakers are going to turn in. If they do stay here, the BR Bakers are going to be able to get the boss, they're going to be able to get all the mercenaries. And they're looking for the turn in. Their sheep has been pulled. And the team needs to react to be there. Starzerg and Jashka are nowhere near in time for this. Chen goes down. There's the gorge onto a pony. And he will go down. Does not get back into the... Oh, wow. Just grab the spirit. Instantly interrupted with the Stitches mini stun. In comes Bobby. Pushes the entire team back into his own team. And a pony will go down to... Sh no, he won't. Maybe this the uh, shield. It's oh, Shadowmere. Uh, these two are He's a bit in out trouble. of position. He's in oh, trouble, and they're retreating the wrong way. But Wobby makes a turnaround happen. A pony goes oh down, and can I Wobby? Can Wobby get away? He's Sashka has taken out Uther, and he Noodles did. picking up all of the coins. But he needs to watch out. Uther's still in there, and so is Nande. Sashka makes a return here, and Nande not taking all that much damage. Oh, Sashka is so incredibly low. Give a crap. He's chasing on to Noodles. In comes Wobby, and wow. he takes him down. All the coins in the world going over to B Top Bakers. They're not even going to pick them all up. There's three coins just scattered around. Zeratul died to something. How did that even happen? Well, he, he was down to 150 health. <laughs> but, but what was he? he you just you just uh either. you just stumble on, on on one of these cobblestones and you're yeah. pretty much dead. Yes, from a cobblestone on a pier, someone could fall into the water. There's sharks in there. But uh, yeah, that will be enough. B Top Bakers going to be evening up the score to one one. Meaning that the final game on the Cursed Hollow will be the deciding match between Vidar Bakers and 
A7. Yeah, we're going to the final match for tonight. Who can make it? I mean, this the first one was incredibly close, but the second map, complete domination out of Beatier Bakers from beginning to end. Um, complete domination in the team fights, map objective, the entire way through. And you you talked about this. They have some issues on on some maps, but just handle themselves so well on others. So we'll have to see. We're going into our final map for tonight. It's Cursed Hollow. How are they going to do on that map? It was yeah. I don't think we've seen them play Cursed Hollow yet. I think that's the uh, only one we haven't we haven't seen them on. Yeah, I don't think we've seen them on that. They didn't play that against uh uh bleh, words. No wait, they did play that against um. Uh, we are not prepared, but that was the match we didn't see. So they they did lose that map. Hmm. All right, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I'm I'm excited for this last one. So am I. Also, quickly down. pay up Captain Bad. Insert coins for stream hype. <laughs> <laughs> he, I am viewbot. Uh, by the way, uh, congrats to Veritech. Um, he just got back from the hospital and. Got his fourth kid. Not bad. Hey, congratulations. That's one of our uh, admins here. <laughs> nice. All right. I have the draft open. I am in the lobby, neither of which are ready yet. OK, that works. I have a lot of replays for this one. <laughs> lots and lots of replays if we want to check those out. Um, well, if you want right. to join the lobby first, just so you make yeah, sure I we're will. sorted. I will. Nice. Join the lobby, get that draft set up, and once we're good to go, I can show some replays. All right. Looks good. Okay, let's check it out. When do we start? This one looks good. I think this was the first uh, gust, gust play. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, I think this was it. Switch on over. Alright, I will okay. be right back while you sort that. Alright, so um, Breeze wanted to go for lots and lots of coins. Starzerk and Sheep are on the chase. And right as this is happening, Uther, Arthas and Felsit are making the turn and uh, trying to help out Breeze. Getting right on top there. And Starzerk being hooked, being gorged and taken behind the wall here. Sheep jumps in immediately, tries to save him. Stazer comes out, um, goes for the Reign of Vengeance, but not really hitting anyone. I think he might get it. Yeah, he got Breeze, but that's pretty much it. Now Zashka Noodles um, coming in from the back. Zashka actually putting out a pretty decent avoid prison there, catching Nande. Stazer, uh, he's in the back. He's caught behind enemy lines, so to say. And uh, Shadowmere is on the, on the back. Now Wabi comes in and I think, when is he actually going to put up that gust? Yep, there's the gust coming in from bottom here and actually pushing Starzak towards that fort and helping out Shadowmere to take him out. And I think he's uh, getting, yep, getting hit by one more blast there from the fort and taken out. So yeah, the gust does help out quite a bit here. And we've seen that in action uh, at least two or three times. And also incredible help um, in the team fights uh, with just getting some decent uh, decent zoning going on. <laughs> Beat our bakers, how can you not love that name? All right, fellas, um, let's have a look at the next replay. Seek out the actual fight. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> yeah, I think around here that's another gorge uh, again going nope yeah again going on to Zashka he's always the one being trapped behind there and Wabi moves in again I think he's putting out another gust but here nice pickup for Shadowmare and this is what I talked about earlier when when I talked about Ace Heaven just uh, not sticking together not staying as a team and instead just have these singled out heroes. And this is just easy pickups for beat our bakers. And this is how you get that solid level advantage. Um, this is how you get that two level advantage that they had almost maintained the entirety of the match. All right, guys, uh, the draft is up for our final game for tonight. A7 banned out Muradin and beat our bakers banned Stitches. Yep, seeing a lot of hate on the Warriors at the moment. <laughs> And um, 
Probably Brightwing as the first pick. Yep, right. The the picks we're seeing, Brightwing, Zeratul, Tastar, Valor. We're, we're seeing very <laughs> familiar picks. Uh, Malf- uh, not Malfurion, uh, Nazibo. You know, the other one with no escape. But they're taking their dear time. Yep. These, these guys seem to. It is very late for them. They're probably running on fumes at this point. They only have to get through one more game. And then they are sorted. Well, they probably want to have some time to rest as well. Valor yeah. as the first pick? Come on, you guys. Like I said, Valor is on that list. Yeah, she is in, she's on there. But come on, we predicted Brightwing, so they had to go for Brightwing. <laughs> this is possibly the case, but I expect we will see a Brightwing on the side of Beat Our Bakers. And uh, probably Arthas. I, th- I think Brightwing Arthas is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think they always tried to get Arthas whenever they could. Yeah. And yeah, seeing as how they do it, probably Arthas first. Mm-hmm. Maybe they want to go for a steal on Zeratul. Even though Zeratul didn't do that well in the last game, I think he did quite well before. Possibly. I know, they're taking their time to consider it. Uh, there we go, Arthas first. And they have another minute to decide the second. Arthas' first pick. Maybe Brightwing is the second one? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it would be Brightwing the second. Brightwing or Zeratul. The I'm question say- is, will we see another Sergeant Hammer for this final map for tonight? Falstad coming. You guys, back they're, they're cru- screwing with us. They're <laughs> just screwing with us. Brightwing being kind of ignored here, but it's pretty much been given over to beat our bakers with Ufa coming in as a support for Ace Heaven. But that completely gives over the Brightwing Falstad combo of being able to fly around the map and bribe mm-hmm. everything if they want to. But Falstad nowadays, not a great person to take bribe on because he has better abilities at level one. That's true. Let's see if we're going to see that Brightwing pickup. Might be the uh, second pick of these two, but... I also don't want to forgo all of the assassins. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tasta is uh, pretty pretty nice in this on this map due to the long-range harass, mostly. Oh, Thrall! Nice, I like it. The double yeah. assa- that is a huge long range assassin from the back in the form of Felstead, followed up with an incredibly high damage melee assassin in yeah. the front. And that's what unfortunately it's gonna be Thrall that's taking the brunt of Ufa here and following up with the Brightwing as the support. But Thrall is gonna be the one who's gonna be charging in and picking people off. But we've seen how effective he can be. And considering it's going to be the Thrall Arthur's front line, plus whatever final warrior they decide to pick. And I like the fact they finally left their last warrior pick, uh, they've left a warrior for last. So that if they really want to, they can pick up a counter for Nazibo if he it is him who gets picked up. Yep, and I'd love to see Anubarak either way, to be honest, because he's so incredibly strong on Cursed Hollow, just to disrupt just channeling like on the tribute. There are still better. I'd still rather have someone like... Uh, Tychus? Like, uh, like Tyrannel. <laughs> Obviously, Tychus. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, and we've seen Shen work uh, today in a couple of matches, so he would also be a valid option. But, oh, ooh, Anubarak. Okay. Wait, what? What? I really thought they were going to take Anubarak just so they could s- deny the Nazibo, so that they could deny the Nazibo counter. But Anubarak and Is Tarant. that a misclick? Tarant? No, I don't think it is. Tarant is not terrible. But well, now Chris Hall, she works with the Owls and Lilies in this new season. Yeah. So, uh, I like this. I like this a lot. I mean, just seeing all kinds of heroes. I think still, the only one we've not seen in a while is Murky, and that's pretty much it. We not seen Murky, and we haven't seen Diablo or ATC in quite a long time. We've seen them Yeah, and Asmodan. Asmodan is also one of those heroes that. True, he got hit hard with the Nerf Hammer. But uh, Tarande will be taking, play, taking the place of the. Uh, 
of the assassin in this comp. And there's actually quite a lot of talk in the team chat that I'm sure you've seen of Tarad being very good due to the mm. fact that just the 25% extra damage on the target that she marks with Hunter's Mark, it's a lot of extra damage, especially when you have someone like Valor. That's true. So you need some good focus firing um, out of Tirana and Valor to make it happen. And Zagara is the final pick here from Beat Our Bakers. Okay, well that's uh, that does mean that basically it's going to be Thrall taking the place of the Warrior in this case by being in the front line, but he's going to be replacing that tankiness with just extra damage. And that's going to be difficult because Wind Fury can be interrupted, but it will continue where it left off after knockups or stuns have completed. But I'd point out, every single person except Tassadar on A7 has some kind of disruption. Oh yeah. Definitely have some nice abilities to win this map uh, as far as map, map objectives are concerned. Yeah, I, I mean disruption is in, sorry, is it disruptions in stuns kind of things. So ah, okay. Stuns or knockups or something like that. So, we'll have to see how this goes. I'm looking... This is going to be an interesting map. We have two long-ranged assassins on the side of Beat Our Bakers. We have kind of three... We have one... We have basically two, if you add up to uh, Tyrande and Tassadar and make them one. We have two... We have two... We have two ranged assassins on A7. Melee assassin on the side of Beat Our Bakers. And no... Nothing melee apart from a Nubrak on the side... Uh, sorry, and Ufa on the side of A7. It's... I can't make a call from just this. I don't think I can do. I don't think I can do it. I think it's just an Uberak for the disruption. It's a question of how good he's going to engage. Yeah, I have no idea yet. I have no idea yet either. Have we seen Beat Our Bakers play Thrall yet? No, we have not. I thought so. Okay, is everyone ready? Not everyone's readied up. Uh, uh, nope. We should be getting into a game here pretty soon. Yep, hopefully we're 9 out of 10. The only person who hasn't read it up yet is uh, Tomzy. And once he is here, we will get underway. Panic? Picnic? What? <laughs> Stream down? Uh, oh, I think, yeah, we dropped a lot of frames, but I think it should be coming back. Yeah, I'm doing fine now, but still dropping a couple of frames every once in a while. Okay. Kind of weird. People need to be less before. eager to shout DDoS. We are li we live in a world where internet is treated as some is treated as a not as a not as a resource or as a right. It's treated as a merchandise kind of thing. It is a item to be sold and earned money from, which is not how it should be being seen. Uh, Wait. Uh oh. Now I just have a one planted yep, at the top same of the here. screen. Why did we stop? Uh. Okay, we're getting back. We're trying yeah. it again. Report cheap. Apparently he's nervous. <laughs> Don't mind him, he's nervous. Alright, well, getting underway. Stream wreck, screen is back, screen is black, it's back. Okay, seems to be okay. solid. We dropped... Fl oh, for God's sake. Sleep. It happened again. Hmm, weird. Yeah, this is... Uh, sheep? Get it, get it together. Maybe you can uh, re-log or something? I think once that the lobby is um, screwed up like that, it's not going to work. Um, yeah, should we just suggest a remake? Okay, you're doing it. I can hear you typing. Yep. Alright. He's apparently reconnect- apparently he's just re-logging. So we'll see if that makes a difference first. Alright, he's relogging. Alright, let's try again. Third time's the charm. Tapity tap tap. Alright, let's try it one more time. Yep, players are ready. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Yay! I still Maybe. have one punch yeah. on the screen. Nope, there it yeah. is. The one got stuck for a while, but <laughs> we got it. Hooray! So, ladies and gentlemen, time for the final game of the night, and it's going to be on the Cursed Hollow. This is the final game of the Best of Three series between Ace Heaven, 
and beat our Bakers, winner of which will be taking that third spot in the Heroes Premier League Season 2. And they will be joining the likes of uh, We Are Not Arfus. Prepared and Arthas. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. So let's get started here. Our final map for tonight. Heroes. On the left side, the blue team by the name of Beat Our Bakers. Oh, no, actually, they switched side. Ace yep. Heaven. Ace Heaven is on the left side here with Noodles playing Uther. With Sheep on Vala. A Pony on Tyrande. Zashka playing Anubarak. And Starzerk playing Tassadar. And on the right hand side in the red trunks, it is Beat R Bakers. It is Tomzy on the Anubarak. Shadow Mare on the Brightwing. Breeze. Is on the f is on the frol able to dodge the owl there? Nande was not so lucky. He's on the Tychus and got hit in the face by the owl. And it is Wubby on the Faustad in the bottom lane. Let's have a look at these uh, lane composition. Looks like Thrall is rotating back up, which makes a lot of sense since almost the entirety of A7 is hiding in the bushes over here. Yep, they do no they do not know that though, so they are just gathering up here. So Arthas going to be fine in the mid lane on his own he's just going to be farming that up both teams in the top lane looking for their opportunity the owl doesn't really see anything so that will fly off into the distance and in the bot lane Wobby and stars are probably going to be giving each other their space try and land a bit of harass but mostly will focus on farming yep i don't think they're going to be uh, able to actually push anything here arfus on the other hand mid lane is doing quite well so far zashka being pushed back into the wall here and already losing a lot of health so, he might need some backup here, eventually. But I think we gotta keep a close eye on this top lane, this is where the action is at. And when Noodles is waiting in the bushes... Yep, Noodles, waiting for his opportunity, he gets the start onto Breeze. There's, this, there's the follow-up stun by Apody, but Breeze gets out thanks to the thanks to the uh, Brightwing heal. And the Owl does miss, he's able to fountain up and he is safe. But that is a great stun combo that they do have there. Yeah, pretty cool combo, and they've already uh, done some damage on these walls. Power took a lot of shots already, and uh, yeah, Breeze making a move there. Looks like Uther is coming from, from the bottom now. He's making, waiting, patiently waiting in the bushes. And Tomzy already pretty low on mana. Oh, there comes the stun. Shadow Mirror immediately going for the heal, but Tomzy is quite low, but there's no follow up. No follow up coming out of Ace Heaven. Uh, apparently people are still having stream issues. Just, uh, just a heads up. It yep. seems to be jumping. We, we had a complete drop, but now we're not losing any more frames. I don't know what happened. Alright, Shashka in the mid lane is actually going to go down. No, he isn't. Shields himself in time to th block the rest of that Envenom. Envenom would have killed him if it had not been for that shield. Tribute spawns in the bot lane. And that's going to be fairly... Uh, that is probably fairly quite, even. Uh, fairly even, yeah. I'm just looking at the healths here and where everyone is. There's a slight advantage to beat our Bakers because Nande was near, but Nande is hanging about waiting for Breeze. And he's still going to be able to deny this. Yep, and gets the route, but choosing not to engage. Breeze is here. Brightwing will be TPing down, but it's going to be 5 versus 4 because Zagara is staying in the top lane. So they need to be super careful and probably just use this as a harass and deny opportunity as much as possible rather than attempting to take it themselves because it's unlikely they will win without Zagara. I'd love to see them um, go for, like, try to deny this and at the same time go for these uh, giant camps. Because you want to, if, you if you're not going for the first tribute, you want to deny as much as possible and delay it, and then go for the uh, go for your camps at the same time. Yeah, I would agree. It would be, it is something uh, MYI used to do back when they were MYI. Sorry, they're Fnatic now. Um, it's, a, it's a strategy they used to do quite a lot where they would deny with a couple people who had really good denial and then they would move back and take mercenaries. I believe SK actually did it once with uh, Asmodan but I might be mistaken there where they just sat Asmodan in the back had him throw Globes of Annihilation at the enemy team while the rest of his team just got <laughs> mercenaries. That works. That's actually oh, a pretty anymore. sweet idea. Oh, not anymore with the cooldown increase on ah, uh, okay. Globes of Annihilation. Uh, next tribute is coming in. And this time on Vidar Baker's side, pretty sweet, pretty sweet spot. But yep. they're still occupied on the Bruiser camp. Oh, there's the steal coming out of the A7. 
Shadow Mayor Nande, they're trying to back this up, but nope, steal is happening. Comes is him coming in from the back, but can't really make it worth it. Tomsi is in a bad position here, almost getting caught out. But yeah, that was the El Nexo style raid there, moving in, and this is actually not looking like a good chase here for Vitar Vegas. They're actually all getting quite low from this, but Shashka, once again, able to survive getting envenomed with the help of an Ufa heal this time. And while all this was going on, Tassadar just stole the tribute. Wow, <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> so that's two tributes going the way of Ace Heaven. They're a little bit behind in XP, but maybe they can make up for it once they actually get that third and uh, final tribute. We're gonna see a massive fight uh, brewing here pretty soon. Galset is rotating back to bot lane. Meanwhile, top lane will have to be defended here by Bedar Bakers. Yep, these giants will be picked off without too much difficulty, but it's still going to be a bit of a pain. It slows them down a bit, and the owl does land onto Nanda and Shadow Mare there. So they're going to need to be quite careful where they engage. And we could also, uh, we'd also like to see, uh, I'd also like to point out here that Tarant has taken the True Shot Aura talent, which passively mm -hmm. grants 10% attack damage and attack speed to all nearby allies, and that's an aura. That is pretty sweet. She will need to stick around her allies though, so should join that fight here. And there she comes, a pony getting into the fray, and Nande disrupting here. Actually, yeah. a nice split up here. Looks like uh, this is a pretty sweet position for Bidar Bakers. They're forcing Noodles out of this and will probably get the grab here on that first tribute for there. Yep, they need to keep that up as much as possible. The owl from Tehran does not come in in time. And we saw the rest of... Uh we saw the rest of Ace Heaven realizing, yeah, we're not really going to be able to get in here. So they went back to their lanes and just started soaking. Tastar's in the bot lane, continuing to push this down and soak the XP. And Tarant stopped coming, heading her way up and went to the mid lane to get XP. She's now going to be helping Shashka with clearing this bruiser camp. Yep, should be cleared, no issues whatsoever. Level 10 now for both teams, so check out their heroics here. We have Army of the Dead on Arthas, Devouring Maw on Zagera, Blink Heal on Brightwing, Sundering on Thrall, and Tinterland Blast on Felstad. On the other hand, Divine Storm on Uther, Reign of Vengeance on Vela, Locust Swarm on Anubarak, and Archon on Tesla. Tyrande hasn't picked her heroic just yet. Yep, Tyrande is very kind of situational. Wasted. So, it, yep, like you said, Reign of Vengeance is pretty wasted. Shadow Man does get knocked up here. And Tyrande still not picked her old, but she needs to work out what one is going to be better in the scenario. Hinterland Blast! Dropping in, doing huge amounts of damage, and we're seeing BR Bakers smashing their way through here. And it's going to be Starfall coming out from Tarande, doing huge damage to BR Bakers, but they are all very far ahead in terms of health, and they've already taken down Ufa. Nanda, his shield has been pretty much used up, but Shadow Mare is here. He's blinking around, getting all the heals. Breeze is going to be denied from taking this tribute for quite a while, thanks to Ufa Pot. In comes the rest of the uh, Ace Heaven to just deny it as much as possible. Breeze. Gonna take advantage of this, he's angered the boss! You've angered the boss, Breeze! Oh, they're gonna there this. comes the Polymorph and a nice root out of Nande and finally takes Tyrande out. Are they gonna go for the boss grab? They're cr they pretty are, low and they, they still crazy. have that tribute. That's a terrible idea. There's yeah. four members alive, they're just gonna get the tribute and back out. But they kept it angered and f for enough time for it to punch Shashka once, uh, Sashka, <laughs> Sashka once in the face. Yep, that's, uh, that's not bad at all. Yep, the boss in the top lane, however, did a pretty good job. I think, was the fort already dead, or did it kill the fort? Yeah, I think he killed the fort, and uh, Vala did get in there to uh, finally stop it. But they're doing some good damage here in the bot lane now. Nice rotation uh, coming out of Bidar Bakers. And they now have a solid, solid two-level advantage. Not bad whatsoever. So this next tribute, oh man, we're gonna have a fight on our hands. But we might have a fight before then. The boss is being contested here. And MS spots it. The owl spots Breeze as well. And they're looking for the opportunity. Noodles with great positioning again, but he's now going. Breeze is now going onto him. Shashka does not hit. There's the Divine Storm. There is the Reign of Vengeance. And down goes Anubrak. Down goes Ufa. And another great fight for Beat R. Baker. Starzo taking a lot of damage. He does not have his face shift up. He's going to go down to Arthas, and they're going to turn and take this boss. It did reset, but they're going to be able to take this fairly easily. Yeah, right. three for nothing. Incredible team fight. 
Two level advantage, and the next tree which should be theirs as well, with a 12 second cooldown still on Tassadar. Uh, but I think only Felsa is going up there. Only Felsa is going up, Brightwings used his TP, so it's not going to happen. Wubby is now actually getting engaged upon the Starfall, being used on him, and Wubby Wow, nice takeout! Steal from uh, Ace Heaven here, very nice, sending just two members, that's all they needed, and that's the tribute. The curse, sorry, over to Ace Heaven. The boss, however, was over to beat our Bakers, and that will continue to push this bot lane. Tassadar, though, is here to start dealing with this. Yeah, Tassadar's in position. Um, oh, he will need some help, though. He can't shield this forever. And taking out the boss by himself is going to take quite some time. Yeah, but his get... team is not reacting just yet, and now Tamsi is coming in. This is going to be a fort kill here, and with the curse going their way as well. Yep, it's not too it's not too bad. However, the rest uh the rest of Ace Heaven pushing down the mid lane, they're likely gonna be able to get their first board of the game. Breeze has been doing a good job in this top lane of protecting his buildings, but he needs to make his way down here. Nunda has been taking bruises all this time. Mid fort does go down. Unlikely there was too much they could do about that, so not a terrible loss. And there's still only tw there's twelve seconds left on this uh curse now. So it's unlikely they will lose too much. A7, moving to the bot lane to at least take the watchtower so they can see what's going on and begin and put a tiny bit of pressure on that bottom lane. This doesn't actually look too bad for uh, beat our Bakers now. I mean, they're gonna grab that next tribute and then um, probably just push down mid lane. It's already taken some damage. Yeah. And that's gonna give them a massive XP boost here. Indeed, they they had they still have the option for getting a curse of them their own. They did lose their top fort though to some siege giants. That is unfortunate. They are now two forts down, as opposed to well, it's two for two. So it is still quite uh, quite even in terms of forts. And because of the level advantage that Beat Our Bakers has, that is pretty nice. They're going to be able to have they have another little pocket of XP in the form of this middle lane fort. They can pick up at their leisure. Uh, A7, trying to um, stay together as a group this time. I like this quite a bit. Actually also getting rid of the creep tumors in the mid, um, denying vision here for Bidar Bakers. But they're two levels ahead, they have a little 16 talents up now. Stone skin being taken by Arthas, and of course Critter Eyes on Brightwing. Meanwhile Thrall, um, just boosting his E skill with Tempest Fury. And the Owl sees the entirety of Beat Your Bakers coming in. Yep, so but they can also see that the boss has not yet been started. Brightwing, very clever there. You can see Brightwing's explosion through the fog of war. So firing that out there, making sure it didn't hit the boss, is a great bait, but it did not work. Faustad, however, able to scout this out with his hammerang. Some good positioning for both of these teams, but it does look a little bit better here for Ace yeah, Heaven. Breeze. Oh, oh, Breeze, Breeze being bump. singled Breeze out. out from noodles. Oh, he stunned the gate. Misclicked, able, stunned the gate, and now his stun will be down for the next couple seconds. However, still not going to be seeing an engagement from either team here. We're just throwing out abilities at each other. Nande has come very far forward here, but this is going to be the fight. There's an Avarian Gore onto Sheep. The Hitler Blast has already come out. Nande is tanking everything. Noodles is dropping very low. He's protective shielded himself, but he will go down. Sashka has been able to back out, and Wubby also able to escape with a tiny sliver of health left. Nande backing out. The Owl doesn't finish Ooh. him off, and he is able to stay alive. The damage upgrade for the Owl has not yet is not yet available. There's a level 17 talent that they cannot get. Wow, everyone was just so incredibly close, but still, uh, only losing one player here does give them a little bit of an advantage to grab that final tribute. But Tassadar is already in position and only felt that they're to contest it. I think this might still be troublesome since half of the team is engaging that boss. Brightwing's here though, it's Brightwing, Nanda, and Shadowmare, and they're gonna be able to drive back Starzerk here. Here's Apody throwing in an owl, but it does not hit Wobby. Wobby will probably drop his stun to try and deny this, but he's had a ping from his team saying, Danger, danger, high voltage. And he is going to back out. Noodles coming in with the Holy Radiance, not throwing it down, and is not able to deny in time. Sashka 
able to back out in time as well. Also, no And Wabi picks up that final tribute, so that's a curse for their side. One minute of low health minions and no forts defending. And what? What? And with all that no health minions and no forts defending, there's a boss in the top lane. Yep, and that's gonna do some massive damage. So that risky move by going for the tribute and the boss at the same time, I think it's just gonna pay off. And we even have Felset moving into bot lane, so this is gonna be a crazy so split push. So much multitasking. Go yep. in the top lane. They're looking to possibly. Ta I thought they were actually looking to take the boss while Felset just pushed on his own. But no, they're just gonna take the keep first, kill the buildings down here, and then go for the boss. They're doing everything on the map at the moment. Top Golem is finally about to go down to Ace Heaven here. And Ace Heaven needs to, one, defend their core. Two, it's pretty obvious that Vidar Bakers are doing the boss now. They need to react to it, but it's far too late. Al can see that. Yeah, they're not no going to get there in time. Get this boss is beat your Bakers. And they're at level 19 almost. Oh, are they going to steal the Bruiser Camp as well? They have to. I think I think they will. There's there's no contest coming out of Ace Heaven. It's gonna be a free bruiser camp for them. Shadow Mare is staying in the front, trying to scout out when they're coming in, but it's not gonna happen here. Let's beat your bakers, controlling the game right now. Three levels three level advantage. Two level advantage still. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah. At least they didn't grab the siege camp. Indeed, they, they they were able to steal pretty much everything that Ace Heaven owned, but they weren't able to take their siege camp. Golem already standing on the core, it won't be able to do anything. Shield is too much. The damage coming out from Ace Heaven is also too much, but it's going to act as an amazing distraction while Bidar Bakers turn around and start doing some damage to that mid -keep. They will not be able to kill it yet unless they can pick off a member of Ace Heaven. By the way, the boss killed the shields on the core. So this is a really dangerous situation <laughs> for Ace Heaven. They want to stay in the back. They want to defend this. Try to keep this. Try to uh, keep that keep alive, and not give any um, any opening here for beat your bakers. Yep. Someone pointed out I got the talent wrong. It is a uh, you get the increased damage to the Sentinel on level 16. 16 is the is the talent. It goes 13, then 16. I have been casting for six hours. Please give me a break. <laughs> More like nine hours. Well, the stream has Something been like that, for yeah. nine when, hours. We went, when did we go live? Uh, At four. Quarter past five my time, and it's currently eleven. So, <laughs> oh well, it's quarter to it's quarter to twelve. So it's not bad. No records have been broken. I think my longest stream was something like fourteen hours casting or twelve hours. I don't know. Can't even I think, remember. I think mine is. I don't know what mine is. I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is breaking it though. Like you said, I think I, I think I'm getting close, but probably not going to break it tonight. Seeing as it's the last game, might have broken it if we did best of five in Garden Terra. <laughs> oh please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Ace Heaven just clearing things off. Um, I think nope, they didn't get anything. They tried to grab that uh, siege camp, but alas, already taken and beat our bakers. They're on their way. Yeah, Peter Baker's looking to try and take down this middle lane keep. Knock up does land onto Tomzi and takes out quite a few of those Bane links that he did launch out as well. Bruiser's going to be working on this. They're trying to get it down, but there's a lot of defense here from, uh, from Ace Heaven. Very nice defensive posture they have here. Blocking a lot of damage, but they can't block everything. Banelings and uh, Fork Lightnings and that Hammer Rain just keep getting through and doing d and landing damage here. Yeah, I think eventually beat our bakers. They're gonna make this, uh, gonna break this fort or break this keep. One more shield goes down, but the banelings hit. Shadowmare needs to watch out though. I think it's one more hit is gonna is be it. It's attrition right now. Wubby yep. just keeps throwing in the hammerang. Nunday gives him no shits. Just walks in. The thunder comes down, and this is the fight. Down goes Taranza through. The oh, noodles in caught in the maw. She is gonna be able to back out here. Uh, Vigilant Blast takes out Uther on the left, and Sashka pushed back. Starzak still in there, pops his, pops his heroic, tries to stay in the fight, but there comes the heroic out of Uther. He's trying to stop Shadowmare, but Tassila goes down in the end, and only Anubarak and Vala still remain, but Sheep completely out of position. Takes out Felstead still, but he's it, gonna <laughs> fall, is gonna fall here, and Sashka. He's trying to, to stop this, but how can you? How can you stop this all by yourself? Core down to 50% health. 
And I think Beat Our Bakers is going to be our final, final qualifying team here for the HPL EU Three. Season 2. Three is giving zero craps, turning around to kill Anubarak while he was at it. But like you said, Beat Our Bakers, the final team to qualify for HPL Season 2 from this qualifier. 